Welcome to Frywall Fridays. Today we're making Singapore noodles. I love this dish. It's Chinese, but it uses curry, and it's so fun to get these combination of interesting flavors emerging from your own kitchen. Let's get started. For our ingredients, we have rice vermicelli noodles, we have uh, aromatic vegetables, uh, scallions, carrot, pepper, cabbage, we have some um, garlic and some shallot, some uh, bean sprouts, then we have our protein, which is shrimp and some pork. We have eggs that we're going to fry up into a little omelet. We have Shaoxing wine, a little bit of toasted sesame oil, some soy sauce, and of course, a key ingredient here is the curry. Also have a little bit of uh, white pepper, some sesame, uh, seeds and just a little bit of cilantro for garnish. I'm going to start by cooking the rice vermicelli. They're going to go into a pot of boiling water and cook for about two minutes. They're going to come out as soon as they are just done and I'll rinse them under cold water and they can hang out like that until they're ready to go into the stir fry in a few minutes. I'm going to whisk up my two eggs here. And then I'm going to pour it into a hot pan and swirl it around to make a nice thin omelet. Uh, and when one side hardens, I'm going to go ahead and flip it. When I make omelets for myself in the morning, I like them to be runny, but for this, you want them to be really solidly done. I'm going to start the mise en place by cutting the uh, omelet into strips. Next, I'm mixing the shrimp with a pinch of white pepper and a little pinch of salt. And that can sit for 10 minutes while we're prepping the other ingredients. Next, I will cut my ham into thin slices as well and we're gonna use approximately a quarter cup in total. For our stir-fry vegetables, we'll cut the six scallions into two-inch pieces. And next, I'll cut the carrot, half a bell pepper, and about two cups of cabbage into thin strips. And finally, I'm going to chop up some garlic and a shallot. These are going to go into the stir-fry at a separate time than the other vegetables. I have my pan nice and hot with a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil and I'm going to quickly stir fry my vegetables starting with the carrots, then the bell peppers, the scallions, and finally the cabbage. I'm going to stir fry for a total of about a minute. I don't want things to get soft, just a little bit softened. That's great. The vegetables still have a little bit of crunch. They're going to come out. I've cleaned out my pan. Next, I'm going to put in the ham and the shrimp. I'm just going to cook the shrimp long enough for it to turn color. That's going to take about two or three minutes. I'm now ready for the aromatics. The pan is a little bit cooler now. I want it to be about medium heat. And I'm going to add a little bit of oil and then the shallots and the garlic. These are going to cook just for about 30 seconds until they start to put off a nice odor. And then I will add my curry. I'm going to cook that for about two or three minutes until the curry is nicely dissolved in the oil. And I'll probably have to add a little bit of oil as I go. I'm just going to add enough just to dissolve the curry, no more than that. I'm now going to add my noodles. They are going to clump at this point, that's normal. And you're going to be able to tease them uh, just with either chopsticks or with uh, a couple of pairs of tongs. It's going to take about two or three minutes and do this on high heat at this point. Once all the noodles are nicely separated, go ahead and add back the vegetables and the shrimp and the pork. Give it a good stir and then we'll gradually add our other ingredients. Bean sprouts, the eggs, and finally we'll add our wet ingredients, the mix of soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and sesame oil. And I also have about a teaspoon of salt mixed in there as well. Give it one final stir and we are done. I'm going to throw the fry wall in the sink and let's get this plated. 
Wow, the smell is just kind of amazing. Not quite Chinese, not quite Indian, somewhere in the middle. Um, and look at these beautiful colors. This should be ample for four, maybe even five people. A couple of, a couple of three shrimp per person. I'm just going to top that off with a little bit of sesame seeds, just like that, and some cilantro leaves for color and a bit of freshness at the end. I don't know how to say bon appetit in uh, Chinese, but uh, that's the word for it right there. Enjoy!